bells jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse, one horse. Hi guys, the Grinch here, and I'm ready to steal Christmas. What a time to be alive. Where are my helpers? Go get me the elves! What's good everybody? It's Nadia, and you know I could not go through this year without giving you guys a Christmas tutorial. So we've gone all out this year. This is the most extra Christmas tutorial I have ever done. We got the Grinch. What's good? I'm ready to steal Christmas in your hood. Okay. First things first, give this video a thumbs up for villains like the Grinch. And uh, make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit that bell so you get notifications when I upload. This is actually a collab with my girl Courtney Hollands. We are both doing glam Grinches. So I will leave her channel details and Instagram all down below for you guys. Courtney and I were actually in the Face Awards together. We were top six together in 2017. And then Courtney actually re-entered in 2018 and she won. So yeah, she's an amazing makeup artist and uh, I haven't seen hers yet because I'm filming mine. So I can't wait to see hers. My look was actually inspired by Nikki Tutorials. So a shout out to you girl. You're probably not watching, but shout out anyway. Grinch is such a fun, cool Christmas character. I just love the Grinch so much. You know, he's the underdog. Um, I'm here for that. I'm always here for the underdog, so. Also, if you guys wanna know where I got the wig is from Powder Room D, I have a whole bunch of tutorials on how I make them look real on my channel. I haven't done a look like this before. This did take me a good four hours to do. I'm like ready to take it off, but I have a whole bunch of like TikToks and stuff like that to film. Check out my TikTok, by the way, cause there's gonna be some fun ones of this look. Nadia Perry XOX. Other than that guys, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, and let's get straight into this tutorial. Oh yeah. So the Grinch has a very bright green, so I'm using the Meron Cream Blend Stick in Ogre Green, and you guys would not believe the struggle I had with this cream blend stick. It was actually sent to my house three times in the wrong color. They sent it in green, but I needed Grinch green, which is ogre green. And yeah, they just kept stuffing it up. So that's why this look is actually so late for you guys this year. But anyway, I'm just putting that all over my face and then blending it in with a sponge. I'm picking up the Huda Beauty Overachiever Concealer in the shade Whipped Cream. I'm applying that on underneath my eyes, my forehead, my nose, and my chin, places that I would normally highlight. Otherwise, we're gonna just look like so flat and one dimensional and we kind of want our face to pop and have dimension. So this white shade really nicely blends with the cream and you just get, you know, a lot of dimension to the face as well as a little bit of highlight, which I'm not mad at, okay? And we all know highlight goes hand in hand with contour. So we're using the cream blend stick in the shade green. This was the shade they kept sending me by the way, guys. I'd already bought one, but they sent me this again two more times when I wanted ochre green. And I'm like, yeah, well, I can't do the Grinch in this color. Anyway, I'm just contouring and blending this with a sponge. As you can see, they're all cream, so they blend beautifully into each other. Adding that to the nose as well, just lightly. This is very pigmented, so you don't really need too much and then you just blend it with a sponge. And to set all this in place, I'm using the Ben Eye Colorless Powder. This is the best stuff you can use for cream paints because it just sets them nicely and they sit in place. And because it has no color, it doesn't affect your color underneath. Now moving on to the brows, we are using the James Charles palette. I'm using this green shade here. Now the Grinch has very fluffy brows. We're not gonna do that with hair, but we're gonna give that effect by drawing them on. So I'm just using a brow brush and I'm just making really, really bushy brows. And then I'm like creating kind of like a pyramid above my brows where the hair sort of goes up onto his forehead. And I'm continuing that all the way up with brush-like strokes. Now, if we just left it like this, again, we'd have no dimension. So I'm using the NYX Cosmetics Jumbo Pencil in Milk and I'm using a brow brush and just adding that through those little fluffy bits. And then picking up that dark green shade again and using a small shadow brush, I'm gonna start creating the creases on the forehead. So we're starting with a line down the middle and then almost like these little semi circles just on either side to create the frown lines and I'm just blending them back and into the forehead. 
And I'm then continuing those frown lines in between the brows. So where I would naturally frown, I'm just adding them in. As you can see, I'm frowning so I can really see where I naturally frown and I'm just shading them in. Again, we wanna add dimension to those creases. So in between those creases, I'm just applying some white shadow and that just gives us a little bit of shading. And now going back in with that dark green color, I am going to start on the eyes and you knew I couldn't go past a cut crease. So I'm just blending the crease outwards with an angled shadow brush. And then I decided to go back to my creases and just add some more frown lines in there just before we go back to the eyes. Again, where we would normally frown. And then back to the cut crease, I'm using that Overachiever concealer again in the same shade and I'm just cutting the crease with that and then going over the top of that with a white shadow so that that sets our concealer. And again, we're adding a little bit more highlight to the forehead under the creases just to make them pop a little bit more. And I'm using that NYX Cosmetics Milk Jumbo Pencil. To make our eyes pop a little bit more, I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Loose Highlight in the shade Snowflake, how appropriate. And I'm just applying that to my eyes and my inner corners. And then picking up the dark green shade, I'm going to blend out the outer corners. Ooh, I can't even speak. <laughs> the outer corners of my eyes. And then I'm just blending them outwards into a massive wing. I mean, this is an SFX look, so we can get away with it. And now picking up a black, I am blending out that outer corner just to add again some more dimension and just darken it up a little bit. And a little bit of drama, drama. And I'm also applying that underneath my eyes as well and blending that up into that tick wing thingamajigger we've created. Now picking up the Fenty Beauty eyeliner in the shade Wet T-shirt. I'm lining underneath my eyes in the inner corner and also around like the cut crease area in the inner corner just to add like I don't even know, just to add a little bit of detail, I guess. And for our lashes, we're using Huda Beauty Lashes in Sasha. Alrighty guys, I like to sing a little song while I'm waiting for my lash glue to dry. If you know the lyrics, sing along with me. Waiting for my lashes to dry. Waiting for my lashes to dry. Waiting and waiting. I'm just waiting for my lashes to dry. If I get glue in my eye, I'll cry. If I get glue in my eye, I'll cry. So I'm waiting. Yeah, I'm waiting. I'm just waiting for my lashes to dry. Mm. And using that wet t-shirt liner, I'm adding a little bit more detail to the brows again. And then I'm going ahead and contouring our nose with that dark green eyeshadow just to really add that detail in there. Now picking up the Meron Paradise palette, I'm using the shade Black and I'm starting to draw on my Grinch nose, paying careful attention to the ends there where the nostrils will be. I'm just darkening them up a little bit more. And now I'm applying the white from that palette and just adding a little bit of shading to the nose in the middle. And I'm going back in with the black to really highlight those nostrils. And I just couldn't help myself. I wanted to add a little bit of highlight to the nose, so I grabbed the Snowflake highlighter. And now for our little line thing. I don't even know what this is called, but it's a line on the face and we're drawing it to the lips so that we look more Grinchy. Ooh coming together. And now we're gonna add the creases, like the small creases across the nose and into the face, cheeks, all of that jazz. So we do like a little one across the nose and then we do the bigger one that connects downwards to the smile lines. And then we're adding another two above that. And to create shading and shadowing, because we're obviously not doing this with prosthetic, I'm just adding a little bit more green to the crease parts and just blending that out and then adding black to add a little bit of dimension. And to make it nice and crisp, I then went ahead and kind of went around all those crease lines with the white. So because the Grinch is some kind of animal creature, now he's got little whisker holes, so I'm just using the black Meron Paradise paints and dotting all of those in. And then picking up the Jeffree Star Rose Matter Liquid Lip Velour, I am just painting my bottom lip with that. So we have a nice pink bottom lip like the Grinch. And let me tell you, when you have lips that are two different colors on the top and the bottom, it's a little bit of patience for them to dry so they don't go on each other. 
Okay, guys, we're done. We're the Grinch. But wait, there's one more thing. Alrighty guys, that brings us to the end of this tutorial. Yeah, I'm really happy with how it turned out. So let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I hope you guys have an amazing Christmas. Stay safe. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button. Share this video if you can, it always helps. And I shall see you guys next time. Bye. <laughs>